jack it up.
And this is the scene here in Leverkusen ahead of this match. We're at the Bay Arena. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. Hello and welcome to the city of Leverkusen. The venue for this game is the Bay Arena. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Bayer Leverkusen facing Borussia Dortmund. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Charles Arangis plays alongside Kerem Deniabai in the centre of midfield. And the striker is the very gifted Patrick Schick. Meunier. Hazard. Not to be this time. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side. Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Marco Reus plays with Torgan Hazard out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. A big moment here, Derek. Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. Daniel Malin and Bellingham Axel Witzel Akanji has it well they're eyeing that final pass you just feel Brandt oh superb skill oh really sound goalkeeping well that's such a good save isn't it how did he keep that one out Karim Bellarabi. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. And they need to get tighter here. Could play it in. Going to get a try. Terrific save. Now, how about the short corner? And played in. It might still be problematic. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? He's driven in the corner. Not well, a time for composure on the ball. Can they take advantage? Oh, he's through here. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure the goal will come. Oh, a lovely ball. Just couldn't get it through. Daniel Malin. And it's a quality pass. Meunier. And a corner to Borussia Dortmund. Chance perhaps for them to take the lead if they get it right. And in the end, he's run out of space. be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball textbook closing down and now they're on the attack can he put them in front 
yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say, it was on the cards. So back in business in this match. And Borussia Dortmund hold the lead. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Good tackle. Rice. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. A chance then. Well, advantage Dortmund after the first 45 minutes, but a long way from the issue being settled. Oh, he looks threatening. And a goal here for Borussia Dortmund. Can they be stopped? Well, a second goal for them here. Useful looking position, you've got to say. A textbook interception. And good pressure high up the pitch. Benarabi. Not to be. And still chasing this game. Well, that was the chance to get back into this. As it is, they're going to struggle now. Royce failed to hang on to it. Kerem Demirbay. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. An important interception. Tremendous ball played through. Well, fantastic reflex action. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. Still not clear. Has a go. And the keeper taking it cleanly. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Offside by a fraction. Arangis. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And the attacking options appear plentiful. And let's give credit to the defending. Oh, good vision. Oh, just mistimed his run. And the flag going up. Excellent challenge. Oh, nice ball over the top to Chase. He's managed to get in behind. What a lovely strike. Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. In position. Well, not the best clearance. And wasteful from Dortmund. Witzel. Well, he's given us away. Not much time to make up his mind. Can they hit on the break? There to win it back. And flag raised offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Benagabi. And the cross smuggled away. Brandt. someone to play it to couldn't quite hang on not to be advised giving the ball away in that position now can they counter clinically all hands on deck 
And Patrick Schick now. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And that will do it, the referee blows his whistle.
thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Good movement. A glorious chance. What a save. Gila Vogui. Mbabu. Baku. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Well, when you're a wide player and you possess pure pace, that can come in handy. It certainly does for Karim Bellarabi, Stuart. What do you expect? Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? Oh, it's cheeky. Oh, it's a goal! And certainly a deflection off the defender into the back of the net. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Kevin Mbabu moving into the advanced position crossing into the middle and the danger is still there and in the end no damage done delightful pass not away completely Getting forward. Cross could be useful. Not a bit short with the clearance. Danger averted for now. Well, you've got to savour such moments. Arangis. Well, moving the ball impressively here. He's in behind. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Arnold, Stefan, good tackle, Roussillon, and successfully cut out, going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Now it's all about keeping the concentration. So 2-0 now. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And the attack carried promise, but Peter that Superb block. Oh, goal! And that wasn't part of the plan. A known goal it is, and no wonder his head is slumped. So, a known goal, and now they are chasing this game. And disappointing that it's gone out of play. Jeremy Frimpong. And that pass could be troublesome. Benagabi. Not really the ideal clearance. Arangis. Benagabi. Well, harried into losing the ball. Really effective pressing. Maximilian Philip. Moving forward effectively. A chance then for the respective manager. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Brooks. Now it's with Kila Vogi. 
Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Chance to finish! But he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Stefan. And Philip. Perfect tackle. Backer. Oh, good vision. Still possibilities. Well, able to survive that attacking push. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there is a cover-up. The concession of a corner here. Contest 4 0. Now, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. But well, he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Chances on. Going for the dink. Oh, we have just witnessed a special moment. Pure quality. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Stefan Brooks. Jérôme Roussillon. Maximilian Arnold has it. Ten minutes to go, then. Arnold. He's showing a real will to win the ball. And he might be through here. Really good high press. It should be. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, it's an out-and-out pasting. 6-0. Stefan. On to Weghorst. Jérôme Roussillon. Now it's with Kila Vogui. Arnold. And we will have just one additional minute. And a fine tackle. And that will be all for this game anyway, and...
My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Borussia Dortmund against Wolfsburg. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Thomas Meunier plays with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Julian Brandt plays alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Very comfortable when in possession. Luca Bacchio. Now, high quality defending. Possession seeded by Dortmund. Baku. The delivery towards the back post. And still dangerous. Chance to take the lead. Match has restarted, 1-0 here. And super tackle and they've won possession. Axel Witzel. Wasteful in possession, Rice. Not what he was intending, bad pass. The attack looks promising. Will it be? Teammate in support. A very timely interception. Brandt. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Now can they create something? Wonderful chance. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. And out for a throw in. Just misfiring with the pass. There's a slide draw pass. He's just got to continue his run. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. And he's lost custody of the ball here. And the keeper more than alive to it. Well, he's tried to be clever, but he just didn't get enough on it. That's a comfortable save. Well, a big sigh of relief. That nearly proved costly. Well, he got away with that one, didn't he? It's a good recovery, though. Hazard. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And Bellingham. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Oh, a superb save. And the short option preferred. And Bellingham. Well, nothing comes of it. Maximilian Philipp. Luca Bacchio. A chance then for the respective manager. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. It is going to be a Dortmund free kick. Good looking sequence. Guerrero. And now Brandt. Interception to snuff out the danger. 
Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Can they keep it going? Something to worry about here. Still could be dangerous. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, back underway here. And a wake-up call for Borussia Dortmund, you would think. And Philip. High quality defending. Losing possession. Hazard. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Nicely cut out. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Daniel Malin. Borussia Dortmund have given it away. Oh, good vision. Oh, it's cheeky. Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it. Pure brilliance. Well, the action continues. No shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Might be a chance here. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. Jude Bellingham. Well, do they mean business on this occasion? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. How well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And Bellingham. Corner coming up for Dortmund. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. And a fine cross. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Oh, it was a terrible-looking challenge. And a big decision for the official here. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Well, no surprise there. Wolfsburg have been second best in terms of possession, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Just cutting off the supply. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Do they have the guile to up and up the defence? Lower driven ball. And a goal! They've cut into the lead! It's not settled yet! You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. And wasteful from Dortmund. And Philip. This could be it! Well, he makes the save, but a good thing too. Well, what a save it is. But can they now go and get that equaliser? Who can he pick out? Struggling to get it away. No real challenge for the goalkeeper. Gila Vogui. Not to be advised giving the... And so the final whistle here. The visitors...
my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town Hello and welcome to the city of Leverkusen. The venue for this game is the Bay Arena. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Bayer Leverkusen facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Kerem Demirbay plays alongside Charles Arangis in the centre of midfield. And it's Patrick Schick up front. And by a way for a thin margin, offside. Torgan Azar. Now with Bellingham. Excellent ball over the top. And there it is! The opening goal! The ideal way to start! 1-0 then. <laughs> B. 
Bellingham. And Witzel with it. Brandt. Juvego. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one-goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Dortmund with the ball once more. Well, they get themselves level here. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Illegal play and hence a free kick. Well, they know they need to stop him. And space for the cross. And they have possession again. And the attack looks promising. And crossed in the direction of the back post. Still a chance. Corner conceded. It came off the defender. And still danger here. And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Will he play it in? And a tidy tackle. Brandt. And no way through. Now let's see what Dortmund have been rehearsing in training. Corner. Going short. Azar. The ball with Marco Reus. Brandt. Birmingham. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. So back underway. Intriguing contest this given the 2-1 scoreline. Daniel Malin. Brandt. Beautifully weighted ball. Royce. Marvellous anticipation. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. The clearance wasn't decisive. And with that, the first half draws to... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Careless in possession. Well, visionary passing. He's in position. And the keeper's in trouble. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. Well, back underway here. And they've split the four goals between them so far. Mini eight. An encouraging move from Dortmund. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Witzel. That's how to rob them of possession. And Bellingham. Thirty minutes to go then. Schick onto Arangis. Could be dangerous. Can he finish? And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, you 
neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. It's a neat move. And delivered towards the back post. And a struggle to get it away properly. Can he find the net? And the Schwarz-Gelben have it back now. Guerrero. Promising looking attack. Now let's see if Borussia Dortmund can take full advantage of the corner kick situation. Real chance. Oh my goodness, he's caught that so well. A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, it's been such a good game so far. Chances and goals at both ends and all played at a great tempo. It's certainly been a good watch. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. Charles Arangis. Can they grab the lead late? Real chance! A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And whipped into the box. Oh, a goal! An equaliser in the closing stages. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. Charles Arangis. Can they create something from here? Patrick Schick now. Very comfortable when in possession. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Beautifully disguised ball, but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Well, the referee blows the whistle.
Jack it up. in Leverkusen on the banks of the Rhine, not too far from Cologne. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Bayer Leverkusen against Wolfsburg. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Veghorst. And an astute piece of defending. The lineup for Bayer Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Charles Arangis plays alongside Kerem Deniabai in the centre of midfield. And it's Patrick Schick up front. And so the starting lineup for Wolfsburg. The vastly experienced Belgian Kuhn Castells will be in goal. Maximilian Philipp plays with Joshua Guilavogui in central midfield. And it's two strikes. Oh, Derek, big moment here. Superb stop. Oh, great defending. Well, when you're a wide player and you possess pure pace, that can come in handy. It certainly does for... Must take the lead here. And excellent goalkeeping. Well, it is good goalkeeping, but the finish wasn't really good enough, was it? Charles Arangis. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Arangis. Well, spot on with that challenge. And reading it absolutely superbly. Wonderfully weighted pass. He does have pressure to deal with. Was an important piece of defending. Kerem Demirbay. Well, no stopping him. And Patrick Schick now. Intercepting it intelligently. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. Jeremy Frimpong. And he read it well. Ben Arabi, magnificent defending. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. And clears the danger. Not troubling the keeper. Mbabu. Stefan. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. And a time for composure on the ball. A bit of running room now on the wing. The inside route looks promising. It's still there for him. And it's in! 1-0! They breach the defence! Well, back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. I must say, this looks promising. And return to Arangis. 
and collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Well, visionary passing. Oh, magnificent reaction. And he's fired over the corner. Well, it came to nothing in the end. The first half here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. And getting the ball forward. And that pass could be troublesome. Decent shots, but the post getting in the way. Goal kick it is. Maximilian Philipp on to Weghorst. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations. Well, they could be in here, Stuart. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two-goal lead now. So, 2-0 now. Kerem Demirbay. And that was a very fine read. Oh, he's lost possession. Given away again. This looks interesting. Has eyes for goal. Oh, what a goal! A tremendous strike. Hard to believe that he elected to take on that shot. Absolutely brilliant. Three goals without reply. Well, he's beaten his man comprehensively. Well, as those stats tell us, Leverkusen have enjoyed more of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Safe pair of hands did his job. <laughs> Kerem Demirbay. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. And Patrick Schick now. The possession lost, intercepted. A really sumptuous ball. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Opportunity! And danger still. Well, I have to say, that was begging to be put away. Well, I was never known for my finishing ability, but I would have put that away. That's a shocking finish. A glorious chance. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Who can they pick out? Well cleared away. Tremendous ball played through. And tossing through. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Arangis. Demirbay has it. Charles Arangis. And Patrick Schick now. And given away by Leverkusen. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. And you've got to say, meat and drink. To the, it could be up for grabs. Well, they can keep possession of it now. 
So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. And that will be all for this game anyway. And...
Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here at the Zignali Duna Park. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It is Borussia Dortmund, and they take on Wolfsburg. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Attending to his defensive chores. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Manuel Akanji plays with Mats Hummels in central defence. Torgan Azar starts with Marco Reus out wide. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Chance to play it in. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. And this situation could be dangerous. And snuffing out the danger, but a corner coming up. Favouring the short one. That's not a bad ball. The save was a good one. And a struggle to get it away properly. Meunier. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Well, nicely cut out. He's beaten his man. Stefan. Crossed into the penalty area. And the keeper has possession of it. And Bellingham. There's a slide draw pass. And there it is, the opening goal. 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Well, Dortmund get the ball moving again. That goal certainly should shake them up a bit. Brandt. Oh, poor from the keeper. Really good diving save. Top class defending. Axel Witzel. Oh, should have done so much better from there. This could square the game. Magnificent defending. Stefan. Chance here. Well, just over the crossbar. Excellent effort. Well, the stats don't lie. Dortmund have had lots of possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Weghorst. He's got to score! And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, a second goal for them here. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. And so it is, the first half story. So the action underway again here, and Borussia Dortmund with an uphill climb after the events of the first 45. Are. 
and out of play it goes, alas. And he read it well, intercepting it. And now, passing it through. Can he do it? Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Oh, a lovely ball. Try to lock the keeper. Oh dear, oh dear, the goal was at his mercy. Tame effort. Superbly read and executed. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Luca Bacchio. And the pass could do damage. He just needs to remain icy cool. Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. And there's the delivery. Stefan. Credit to them for winning back possession. Well, that's a well-timed pass. ball was put into the right area but no one able to capitalize what a lovely strike lethal piece of finishing drilled home with true conviction tremendous goal so they get the ball moving again 3-1 the score line here what's going to happen next went in strongly decisively Attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Opportunity here, and a goal! They just keep believing! Who's to say they can't do it now? Well, continuing with the game, and you just sense the momentum may well be with the Schwarzgelben. Well read to put an end to that attack. Gilavogi Stefan but it wasn't a taxing save Veghorst and taken away he won the ball Azar this could square the game and splendid goalkeeping well it's a decent attempt but in the end not enough and as you say good goalkeeping Ten minutes to go. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Could be a chance to break here. Stefan. Oh, showing excellent vision. Oh, a fine save at this point in the game. Well, he's just about kept them in it, but time's against them here. Well, that was a good save, and it's kept them in it, but they have to do more going forward. Stefan takes it on. Well, really fine goalkeeping. Good diving stop. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. So the corner played into the box. And mopping up defensively. Veghorst. Perfect challenge. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone.
A huge night at a great stadium. We're here at the San Siro. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on Serie A, the top of it. Oh, what an opportunity! Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it! Pure brilliance! Milan get the game restarted. Can they come up with a coherent answer? This is looking threatening. Well, flinging himself at the ball. Well, they're going for the short one. Kessier. underway following the equaliser Olivier Giroud chances on can the slot it go great reflex action well that should have been a goal mind you it's a brilliant save Lozano. Wonderful chance! He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. Take it away. I must say, this looks promising. The end product just wasn't there. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the free kick had just a bit too much height on it. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought that was going in. It's only a whisker away. Benassa. It's with Diaz. And now, passing it through. defending real chance oh that is a majestic goal volleyed home with precision and style superbly done and the scoreline doesn't favour Napoli well, let's find out about their attack now now oh, doesn't get away with it free kick given textbook closing down and now they're on the attack and a timely intervention Fabian. Oh, the ball. And he's broken free. Oh, it's just over. So unlucky. Well, it's a cheeky attempt, but it just doesn't come down in time. Now well, there to intercept. Lorenzo Insigne Victor Ozimhen able to skip past his man and the referee doesn't hesitate that is a spot kick and now to level the game and a goal he was composure personified and he's done his job from the spot it has taken a Herculean effort for them to get back to level pegging under these trying circumstances. It's a good Napoli move in the making, but they dealt with the threat first. Salamakers. Kessier. An incisive pass. Well, even marginally offside is still against the law. Yeah, and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer, and he would have been in on goal. Has eyes for goal. Still alive. Just the clearance that was needed. Getting in there to intercept. And we will have just one additional minute. 
And so it is, the first half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Well read to ease the pressure. Now can they counter clinically? Ben Asa, an alert intervention. Well, it was a fine first-half performance by Lorenzo Insigne. And, and the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. And fed forwards. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted. But he just took too long to play it. What a game we've had so far. Goals at both ends, some near misses as well, and some good individual displays. You can't take your eyes off of this. And Milan looking dangerous. And possibilities here. Cutting the ball back. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, having conceded a goal, how will Napoli reply? Thirty minutes to go then. Diaz, Rebic, and he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Giroud, great pressure to win the ball back. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. They fed with a short one here. Cassier. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Lorenzo Insigne. Good work from Milan to make sure possession changed hands. And Milan moving the ball with purpose. The delivery. Successfully cut out. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Lozano, Victor Ozimhen. It is to be a throw-in. Can he play it in? Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Kessier. Giroud, committed challenge. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Martins. And now Politano. Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace, just couldn't finish it off. Delightful pass. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. This could be it! Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. Politano. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Well then there to tidy up. And he's allowed his opponent to get past. Can they put it away? Well, threat averted. Well, what a fantastic save that was. He'll certainly be grabbing the headlines if it stays like this. Late in the game, Napoli with work to do. Who's to say what happens next? The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Rebic. Will he play it in? an effective clearance and that brings this contest to an end and
Hello to you from Milan, a city synonymous with high fashion. The stadium might not be fashionable anymore, but it remains iconic, the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. Giroud! Oh, he's missed the chance to open the scoring. Well, that would have been a great start to the game, but that's a bad miss. Here's the Milan team. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Davide Calabria plays with Teo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Brian Cristante plays with Jordan Veretout in the centre of midfield. And operating through the middle in attack is Tammy Abraham. Regained possession. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Abraham Mkhitaryan fantastic work to thwart the danger Benassa wants to attack from the wide areas Diaz given away by the Rossoneri Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Into the centre from Mkhitaryan. Well, it still could be dangerous. Pellegrini. And the keeper has possession of it. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, nothing productive, really. Better two. They couldn't maintain possession. Benassa given away by Milan Olivier Giroud and cuts inside really vital interception Giroud body in the way Hendrik Mkhitaryan. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Tomori. Bremic. High quality defending. Not the best clearance. Danger averted for now. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. 
Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. And a poor ball. Really good challenge. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Pellegrini. Mkhitaryan. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Cards. And back underway, 1 0 it is. Karsdorp. Will he play it in? Really good challenge. Olivier Giroud. Bad pass. Pellegrini, Nicolo Zaniolo, Vertu, looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Brian Tristante. Tristante, oh, commanding goalkeeping. And he's fired over the corner. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, threat averted. Great pressure to win the ball back. Now well, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. He plays it short. Options in the middle. Pellegrini. And unfortunately for him, he had worked his way into an offside position. And I think everybody in the ground could see that was always going to be offside. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Karsdorp. Pellegrini. Now Vertu. Well, still time for them to level it. Brian Tristante. And can they make one of these passes count? And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Crossing possibilities. Vertu. two. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And so into the final five minutes. Good work from the Rossoneri to win the ball back. Tammy Abraham. A move of promise on the flank. Is it going to be Mkhitaryan? Really important tackle. So one minute of stoppage time. And he's made headway. He had to score and he does. And that is the end of the contest for nothing. I'm walking alone in the streets so empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town.
Simon. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. Bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Could be. There it is, the opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. And Napoli get the ball moving again. How will they react? Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Deme. Rosano. Just cutting off the supply. Vigna. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Decided to come in from the flank. Cristante. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Mikitarian. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Looks as though he's alone in the centre. So 2 0 now. Given away by Napoli. Well, oh, they've given him too much space, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And threading it forward. Top class defending. And that's great work to keep it in play. An encouraging move from Napoli. A decisive clearance it was. 
Martins. Real chance. It could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, no damage done. And unable to keep the ball. Well, they couldn't hang on to it, Napoli. Tammy Abraham. Well timed tackle. Lorenzo Insigne. And Mertens. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Politano. Very quick thinking there. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Given away by Napoli. Well, it could be on for him here. Defending of the highest class to stop him. Demet. Lozano. Dries Mertens. And the whistle is sounded for... The ball is moving again, and it was a below-par effort from Napoli in the first half. Will they fare better in the second 45? Mersins. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Mertens. Didn't quite go to plan. Brian Tristante. Good tackle. Oh, good vision. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Promising looking ball. And the problem not completely solved. Well, they can bring it out now. Oh, showing excellent vision. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Brian Tristante. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Nicolo Zaniolo. Plenty of options. It's a good to be Mkhitaryan. And running through to the keeper. Committed challenge. There's a slide rule pass. And it all counts for naught. Nicolo Zaniolo. Rick Karsdor. On the ball, Zaniolo. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Very two. And a long way out. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Could be dangerous. 
Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Oh, surely. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. He's driven in the corner. Well, off target by Miles with that one. And a goal kick will ensue. A real struggle to contain him. Henrik Mkhitaryan! Well, he really tried to connect with it, but a long way off target. And that's an important intervention. Mario Rui, untidy on the ball. Nicolo Zaniolo. Excellent challenge. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Pellegrini. Here's Cristante. Options in the centre. Rick Carsdorf. Tammy Abraham. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the final whistle has sounded. This is not the result. Jack it up.
Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're talking to you from one of the special venues in European football, the San Siro, here in the city of Milan. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. It's Milan up against Napoli. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is the Milan starting 11. The goalkeeper is Ciprian Tatarushanu. Teo Hernandez starts with Davide Calabria in the fullback positions. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. And a throw-in it's going to be. Fabian. Insigne. And here's Fabian. Insigne! Foiling his opponent completely. And over it comes. He got a good palm. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Diaz. It's a crucial challenge. Dries Mertens. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Might take the lead. In it goes at the second time of asking. But the goalkeeper won't be proud of that moment. So underway once more. Advantage Napoli here. Giroud it did look on for them but not to be Diaz difficult to stop him credit to them for winning back possession it has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in Mertens and return to Mertens and still danger here oh it's a penalty just what they wanted to avoid given the scoreline well some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card well, and a goal he was composure personified and he's done his job from the spot so 2-0 now away by the Rossoneri definitely look as though they want to make this move count Demet and it goes well it's one goal after another a highly impressive performance well away they go again Napoli really in the mood in fact this is turning into a trouncing This looks more than decent. And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3 1 it is. Mertens. Kevin Madcui. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Mertens laid into the box. Well, it's saved. Finally, it's.
And away they go again. Dizzying football from Napoli in the first 45. Let's see what the second half brings us. Mario Rui. On the ball, Demet. Well, can they open up the defence here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Brevic. Could cross it in here. Still a chance. And this situation could be dangerous. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Ray Beach. The end product just wasn't there. Well, there you have it. Napoli have controlled most of the possession and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football and they look like scoring more. Tremendous ball played through. And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Thirty minutes to go then. Oh, lovely incisive pass. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Mm -hmm. Super tackle and they've won possession. away by Milan a real opening now a fine reading of the situation it's a good Napoli move in the making but they dealt with the threat posed just 20 minutes remaining now chance interception to snuff out the danger I just missed that little bit of attacking spark goalkeeper's ball well not long to go now and it's going to take quite the current this could be a goal here not a particularly strong challenge keeper did his job to begin with and it's gone behind for the corner Playing it in. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Mertens. Did well to win the ball back. Mertens. Oh, breezing past him. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Totally fooled him. He has time to play it over. Could reduce the deficit. In it goes! It looked as though they were down and out. Not a bit of it. What will happen next? Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Well, a crucial intervention inside the box. Well, what a dramatic finish we could have here. These Milan fans are ramping up the atmosphere now. Into the advanced position. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. So there we have it. The referee says enough is enough. And...
venues in world football, the San Siro in the city of Milan. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from Serie A. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And giving it away. Brahim. Rebic. Precise ball movement. Brian Tristante just cutting off the supply well he really is danger personified but in this game Stuart what do you think we might see from him well he's the most creative player on the field he can run with the ball he can get himself out of tight situations he can see a pass he's very creative with his play I think he's going to be the outstanding player today Vertu On to Mkhitaryan. Pellegrini. Mkhitaryan. Well, flinging himself at the ball. And over it comes. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And over comes the corner. Well, the keeper wanted to take it cleanly and did. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Mikitarian. Nicolo Zaniolo. And Milan have the ball once more. Brahim. Now Giroud. And the attack looks promising. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. But then the one that goes astray. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Pellegrini. Are they going to forge ahead? Couldn't quite hang on. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. So almost at the halfway mark with Milan chasing the game here. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen from them in this half? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. And will it be the level Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Short corner favourite. Kessier. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Brian Tristante. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Giroud. And he takes it on. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Who can he pick out? Well, the clearance half-hearted. Well, the managers will now deliver their half... Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride.
Top class defending. Brian Tristante. Well, they keep passing away. Oh, but they've lost it now. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Zero! And a goal to delight the fans! Just what they were hoping for! So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Nicolo Zaniolo. What a shocking pass, really. Space afforded him. Cutting infield here. Going to get a try. Body on the line. So Milan with the lead. And now they have a corner. Cassier. And a very good challenge. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Through ball, just overdone. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Pellegrini. Getting in there to intercept. A move of promise on the flank. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. 20 minutes to go in this one. Pellegrini. On to Abraham. Nicolo Zaniolo the attack continues they're making considerable progress and he's got a score to level us again well this is a really good game of football both sides have played well going forward there's been plenty of chances goals and a lot of near misses it's been great entertainment this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity can they keep it going There are two options in the middle. Won it back. Ten minutes to go. The running room in the wide position. Milan still going forward as the minutes tick away. Even Steven. There are two. Karsdorp on the ball Zaniolo will he find the net oh can you believe it with so little time left surely that will be the winner amazing scenes here well a dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Abraham Brian Tristante and the electronic board showing one additional minute Rebic well there goes the final whistle and it's all gone
It is a city where passion for football is red hot. Welcome to Naples in southern Italy. I'm Derek Ray in position to bring you live match commentary and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key. Is it going to be? And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Not the best clearance. Martins. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Here's the team for Napoli. David Ospina begins in goal. Matteo Politano starts with Lorenzo Insigne in the wide positions. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Brian Cristante plays with Jordan Veretu in the centre of midfield. And operating through the middle in attack is Tammy Abraham. Oh, can he finish it, Derek? Wasted chance. Easy for the goalkeeper. Not an easy one to cut out, really. Keeper there to collect. Pellegrini. Tammy Abraham. Now with Mickey Tarian. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. There are two. Now with Abraham. Well, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Surely! And denied by the keeper. Oh, a goal! Not part of the script, was it? Well, that own goal has put them behind. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining pace. He's in behind. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. There are two. Superb block. Well, Napoli, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Nicolo Zaniolo. Well, they might be onto something. And still danger here. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Mkhitaryan with the cross. Well, they survived the attack. Abraham. And diving to thwart him. Can someone get on the end of this? Lozano, pressing high to win the ball. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Lorenzo Insigne couldn't keep the ball. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Decent position. But they took care of the situation. Defend. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. Now well, the managers will now deliver their... Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. A very good tackle. Lorenzo Insigne.
Brian Tristante. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Moving it forward. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Intense pressure. Mersens. Demet. Rosano. Fluency of movement. And it was a good-looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Vertu. And the counter looks on here. Options available. They need to get bodies back. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Read it magnificently and intercepted. And a chance to whip it in here. In behind for him to chase. Well, nothing comes of it in the end because the flag has gone up, Stuart. Well, he knew where the space was, but he's just been too eager, and that's why he's offside. Brian Tristante. Tammy Abraham. And there it is! The equaliser! Down to ten men, but showing guts and determination. So back underway. They've levelled it at 1-1 here. Twenty minutes remaining. Tammy Abraham. And it's a quality pass. It's still alive. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Well, just take a look at the stats. They've certainly been creating opportunities, but they just haven't been clinical enough in front of goal. Some of their finishing has been really poor. That has to improve at some point in this game. Might be able to get in behind the defence. It's there for him. He had to react and did. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Given away by Napoli. And he might be through here. And choosing finesse. He might be wishing he hadn't. Well, it's good vision, but not the skill to match, I'm afraid. Well, not hard to read that pass. Oh, good vision. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. Brian Tristante. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. Napoli still trying to make something happen in the closing moments. It's still level. Pellegrini. Here's Cristante. Tammy Abraham. Pellegrini. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. Now sending it in. And clears the danger. Can they forge ahead? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. And there's the whistle. They can't be separate.